If the McMurtry Sparling doesn't ring a bell, it's a pint-sized electric hypercar that shattered the Goodwood Hill climb record last year. With XF1 driver Max Chilton behind the wheel, the diminutive performance EV completed the course in 39.08 seconds. The cute one-seater shaved off 0.8 seconds from the old record set by Roman Dumas and the VWID. Are in 2019. Late last year, we saw it doing 0 to 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour, in a neck snapping 1.4 seconds. Fast forward to June 2023, McMurtry Automotive is happy to announce the little electric beast is going into production, albeit with a limited run of only 100 cars. We'll see a validation prototype next month at the Goodwood Foss, with pre-production prototypes to follow in 2024 ahead of customer deliveries set for 2025. As to how much it costs, you'd better sit down for this one since the Sparling Pure is available for £820,000 before taxes. That's about €1.04 million or €954,000 Euros at current exchange rates. For your money's worth, you'll be getting a track-only petite EV with a carbon fiber monocoque. It measures only 3.45 meters, 135.8 inches, in length, 1.58 meters, 62.2 inches, in width, and just 1.02 meters, 40.1 inches, in height. Despite being so low, it can still accommodate drivers up to 6 feet 7 inches, 2 meters, in height and 150 kilograms, 330 pounds, in weight, thanks to the adjustable pedals and steering wheel. It packs an astounding 1,000 horsepower, 745 kilowatts, in a car that weighs less than 2,200 pounds, 1,000 kilograms. It rides on smaller 18-inch wheels that are slightly lighter than last year's 19-inch set and are wrapped around wider 270mm front and 300mm rear slick tires. There's also a new fan system with 15% improved efficiency and 14% less weight compared to the old setup. The 60 kWh battery pack can be charged in just 20 minutes and will last for 10 laps of Silverstone at full tilt. McMurtry Automotive has made additional tweaks to the suspension, bodywork, and aero while adjusting the pedal box, electrical architecture, brakes, chassis, and power steering unit to cut mass. There's now a marginally improved gearbox, a newly developed lighter battery with better thermal management, and the option for anti-lock brakes. The 0-60 to 60 miles per hour time isn't mentioned, but if it's anything like last year's car, full throttle acceleration won't be for the faint-hearted. Flat out, it'll do 190 miles per hour, 306 kilometers per hour.